dry matter uh, content and uh, preserved uh, forages such as silage. Silage. Hi, my name is Wes Chapel. I'm, I'm the manager here at the Ore Beef Research Center. And today we'll work through a problem concerning uh, dry matter uh, content and uh, preserved uh, forages such as silage. Silage is simply just the whole plant of uh, corn that's been chopped and then stored anaerobically to keep it from spoiling. Now whenever we're limit feeding cattle in a scenario like this where we'll be feeding it as a TMR or a total mixed ration, it's crucial to understand and determine the dry matter content of your individual ingredients in order to make sure that the cow or the growing calf is uh, fed all the nutrients that it needs, whether that's uh, in terms of protein, energy, or a total dietary dry matter. So within the first step of determining dry matter, what we'll need to do is first find a scale and a way to dry that down. Uh, for this example, I have a forced air drying oven. Uh, it can easily be done with even a microwave or as well as a regular oven within uh, your kitchen. But the first step of the process is to find a pan and a scale. And what we'll need to do is first tear the scale to where it reads zero. It's a pretty sensitive scale. And then what we'll do is we'll add our fresh, unfrozen silage into our pan to achieve approximately 100, 100 grams. And we'll record that way. Next, we'll add the silage into our drying oven, keeping careful not to spill any, because that will affect our overall dry matter in the long run. and then we'll allow that to dry. With this type of oven, it should only take about an hour. Thanks, Wes. Let's talk a little bit about the math now. Remember that a percent is basically just a way of comparing two numbers by considering that those numbers are gonna be compared to 100. So we say that part over whole so if we compare a part of something to the whole thing, then we will use the percent then to represent that same ratio with the whole being represented by 100 parts. Now if we use a little algebra, we can rearrange this formula so that we can get the percent by itself. So the formula that we will use then for this problem is that the percent is equal to part divided by whole, then multiplied by 100. For our particular problem here, the percent that we want is the percent dry matter of our stock leach. Now notice then in the right side of the equation, the part is going to be represented by the dried amount of that sample because, remember, we're interested in the percent dry matter the total or the whole is going to be the weight of the wet sample that we started with. So that's going to become our total or our, our whole. Consequently, we'll write the equation dry sample divided by wet sample multiplied by 100. Now to plug in our numbers. You may recall from Wes's example that his wet sample was 100.2 grams. And after the sample had had an hour to dry 
in his oven, he found that the weight of the dried sample was 36.2 grams, which meant that a large amount of that sample was water, which was driven away in the heating process in the oven. Consequently, then, our percent dry matter is going to be 36.2 divided by the 100.2 multiplied by the 100%. And now on our last slide, we'll go ahead and do the math. We'll notice that the 36.2 divided by the 100.2 multiplied by 100% gives us 36.127745, or rounding to the nearest tenth of a percent, 36.1%. You might also notice here that careful selection of a sample size, for example, choosing a wet sample of 100 grams would give us the percent dry matter without doing any math at all. And so sometimes by careful use or careful choice of samples, we can save ourselves some work. Thanks for watching.